Namaste. Welcome to the online class. Dear students, in the last class we have discussed about the types of errors. There are four types of errors, syntax errors, semantic errors, logical errors and runtime errors. Today we shall discuss about approaches to problem solving. Top down design, bottom up design, stepwise refinement. and programming techniques. These are the four approaches to problem solving. Top down design, bottom up design, stepwise refinement, programming techniques. We shall discuss one by one. Top down design. Top down design is a process of dividing a problem into sub problems and further dividing the sub problems into smaller sub problems until it leads to a solution. Here we keep on dividing the problems into sub problems until it leads to a solution. Top down design it is a process of Dividing a problem into sub problems and Further dividing sub problems into smaller sub problems until it leads to a solution. This is top down design. One the problem is that the sub problem divide maadudu. Next, the sub problems are smaller sub problems are divide maadudu. We have solutions to the problem and divide maadudu. That is called top down design. For example, if A is a problem, if A is the main problem, I am going to divide A into two sub problems, say B and C. Further, I am dividing B into three sub problems, say D. E and F. Again, I am dividing C into three sub problems G, H, I. So, top down design can be viewed like a tree like structure. Top down design is a process of dividing a main problem into sub problems 
and further dividing the sub problems into smaller sub problems until it leads to a solution. If we consider A as a problem, I have divided A into two sub problems B and C. Again, I have divided sub problem B into three smaller sub problems, they are D, E, F, and I have divided sub problem C into three smaller sub problems G, H, I. So, to make you understand this concept, I will consider the problem temperature conversion. If temperature conversion is the main problem, then I am going to divide the main problem into two sub problems, say Fahrenheit to centigrade and centigrade to Fahrenheit. Here, I am going to convert the temperature given in Fahrenheit to centigrade and here I am going to convert the temperature given in centigrade to Fahrenheit. Now, I am further dividing the sub problem Fahrenheit to centigrade into three sub problems. input temperature convert the temperature output temperature formula to convert Fahrenheit to temperature is F C is equal to F minus 32 into 5 by 9. C is equal to F minus 32 into 5 by 9. C is equal to F minus 32 into 5 by 9. This formula is used to convert the temperature in Fahrenheit to the temperature in centigrade. Now, I am dividing the second sub problem that is centigrade to Fahrenheit into three smaller sub problems. They are input temperature, convert the temperature and output
output temperature in Fahrenheit. Here output temperature in centigrade. formula used to convert centigrade to Fahrenheit is F is equal to 9 by 5 into C plus 32. Like this in top down design we are going to divide the main problem into sub problems and further dividing the sub problems into smaller sub problems until it leads to a solution. Iga nanu temperature conversion anna main problem anta takondre. Adaralli nanu yerudu division maadbodu. Yavudella Fahrenheit alli kotta temperature anna I can convert into centigrade and I can convert the temperature given in centigrade to Fahrenheit. Centigrade alli kotta temperature anna Fahrenheit ge convert maadbodu. Next Temperature and Fahrenheit to centigrade ki convert maadvaga. E nalla beku nange input to temperature. Yava temperature and convert maadveko. A temperature beku. Convert the temperature. Next alli process ag beku. A temperature centigrade ki convert ag beku. Formula C is equal to F minus 32 into 5 by 9. Next it has to give the temperature in centigrade. It has to output the temperature in centigrade. Here Second sub problem that is centigrade to Fahrenheit. Temperature centigrade ali koti dare. Adan na Fahrenheit ke convert maadu anta do next sub problem. Adrali three sub problems are input to temperature. Temperature beko namge centigrade ali temperature beko. Convert the temperature. It must be converted into Fahrenheit. Next it has to output the temperature in Fahrenheit. And formula used to convert the temperature in centigrade to Fahrenheit is F is equal to 9 by 5 into C into C plus 32. So, this is the main problem. That is sub problem. Divide maadu, sub problem is smaller sub problems. We divide maadta hogudu. Namge solution is divide. That is divide maadta hogudu. That is about top down design. Next, we shall discuss the advantages of top down design. advantages of top down design problem can be solved by outlining the broad concepts first subsequently Going into the details with no or minimum change.
second one we can develop the pro programs we can develop the programs easily quickly and with the minimum errors next advantage assumption at a level continues and development of the next level sub problems can take place in parallel these are the advantages of top down design first advantage problem can be solved by outlining the broad concepts first subsequently going into the details with the no or minimum change second one we can develop the programs easily quickly and with the minimum errors third advantage assumption at a level continues and the development of next level sub problems can take place in parallel okay first advantage problem can be solved by outlining the broad concepts first subsequently going into the details with no or minimum change here we keep on dividing the main problem into sub problem and sub problem into smaller sub problems until it leads to a solution so here we will focus on the main problem first then we are focusing on the sub problem and we are focusing on the smaller sub problems until it leads to a solution one the main problem anna first nortebe next aa main problem anna main problem anna sub problems agi divide martebe adakke focus martebe next adanna smaller sub problems agi divide martebe adakke focus madvantadu that is the first advantage second advantage we can develop the programs easily quickly and with minimum errors here program in the sense software we can develop the software or we can develop the programs very easily very quickly and with the minimum error error is nothing but the mistake and third one assumption at a level continues and development of the next level sub problems can take place in parallel means we can assume the next level sub problems and we can develop the sub problems at a same time or simultaneously we can develop the sub problems or sub programs now next level sub problems anna simultaneously divide maartta hogteve andre prob iga ondu problem athava ondu software anna obbne develop maadbeku anta illa smaller modules agi divide maadidre aa modules anna bere bere software developers develop maadvantadu so avaru simultaneously aa modules anna develop maadabodu assumption at a level continues and development of the next level sub problems can take place in parallel we can develop the sub problems simultaneously or we can develop the sub problems at a time these are the advantages of top down design next we shall move on to the bottom up design
bottom up design it is the reverse of top down design this process starts with combining the lower level modules to form higher level modules in top down design we will divide the main problem into sub problems here we are combining the sub problems into main problem so bottom up design it is the reverse of top down approach here process starts with combining the lower level modules to form higher level module is the reverse of top down design process starts with combining lower level modules to form higher level so direct agi sub problems anna design maadi next adanna combine maaduvantadu that is bottom up design next disadvantages of bottom up design design of the lower modules is very difficult final program does not meet all the requirements all the requirements of the program these are the disadvantages of a bottom up design first disadvantage design of the lower modules is very difficult directly designing the lower level modules is difficult task final program does not meet all the requirements of the program final software that may not meet all the requirements of the user andre first disadvantage design of the lower modules is very difficult direct agi lower level modules anna design maduvantaddu difficult second one software develop madida nantra user ge bekada ella requirement aa software alli illade irbodu those are the two disadvantages of bottom up design bottom up design is the reverse of top down design here process starts with combining the lower level modules to form higher level disadvantages are difficult to design the lower level modules and final program does not meet all the requirements of the program next uh, approach is step wise refinement this is the process of dividing
the problems at each stage to obtain computer solution here problem in the sense computer based problems we are talking about the computer based problems so step wise refinement it is a process of dividing the problems at each stage to obtain a computer solution it is similar to top down design so i hope you understood top down design bottom up design and step wise refinement and fourth approach is programming techniques under that we are going to study unstructured programming structured programming modular programming procedural programming and object oriented programming we'll continue in the next class thank you